Hi. Um, I am here with a representative from Children's Cancer Research Fund. Um, there's also Helker getting, getting set up in the foreground here. <laughs> Our next runner. Definitely stick around for that. Uh, fantastic run coming up. We're also trying to push for 5K total. I'm mentioning this now because we need to start getting that, uh, that donation total in the bottom left of your screen. We need to see that number go up. It's, I almost called it a funny number. It's actually a really important number. <laughs> Donations to charity are really important. I shouldn't call that a funny number. <laughs> the funniest number that does start with a five? It, probably, it probably has a 69 in it. Um, <laughs> 5420, like, could be good. Uh, what, <laughs> what are we doing? Um, so, you might have heard us mention, or heard hosts mention throughout this marathon that we are raising funds for a Children's Cancer Research Fund through Creators Against Childhood Cancer. So tell us a little bit more about what that latter program yeah. is. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm Sam. I work for uh, Children's Cancer Research Fund, and I'm also the program director for Creators Against Childhood Cancer. Um, and to kind of explain what's going on, Children's Cancer Research Fund is exactly what it sounds like. We've been doing fundraising for uh, working with uh, scientists, emerging technology, uh, working with uh, hospitals and survivorship for a very, very long time now. Um, but Creators Against Childhood Cancer is our program working with content creators and the gaming community. So that's things like uh, Twitch streamers, YouTubers, people putting on gaming-related events, gaming-related content like this, uh, or the entire convention, or we are working with some esports teams and have some stuff coming up next month, uh, so in September for Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, which if you didn't know, now you do. I'll talk about that more later, probably. Uh, working with a bunch of streamers to do stuff for that. And it's our way of doing fundraising through uh, some really powerful, engaged communities. Um, I've been part of both nonprofit fundraising, nonprofit program uh, coordination for like eight years now. But I've also been doing gaming events through, uh, for me personally, through Smash Bros, but through a lot of esports and gaming and streaming also for about eight years and so it's been really really cool to see this program come together and kind of seeing what we can do for both of us a fun little tidbit um well before you uh, took your position with children's cancer research fund both of us have known you through smash for like a long time <laughs> i just think that's a fun tidbit to share um i wasn't that young i was like 15 or 16. Um, I, I mean, I was probably the size of a 14-year-old, but... <laughs> um, Gooby, I know you had some questions you wanted to ask as well. Yes, I would be curious to know, um, what are some of the most meaningful things you've seen personally from CCRF's work? So anything you've personally... Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's a, a great question. Um, I think I have two different answers, actually, that were both from this last month, um, because... This month is when a lot of our stuff kicked off. Like I said, CCRF has been around for a long time now. The Creators Program has been around for like four months. It started in February. Uh, I guess that's like six months now. But um, So a lot of our stuff that we've been prepping is all happening. September through, or August through October is just crazy busy for me in a very good way. Uh, but it means a lot of stuff is happening. Uh, so last week, I got to experience what is called virtual camp. Uh, and so one of the things outside of strictly cancer research that we do is we have a thing called Camp Norden, which is a camp for uh, kids with cancer. It's a camp for uh, not just kids, but also their families for uh, like making it possible, totally free of cost for them to go hang out and be at a camp uh, along with other kids that are also either going through the same thing they're going through or that have gone through it before. Uh, and it's uh, been a really powerful experience for a long time. Um, but we know that there's not a lot of kids who can do that, um, especially in this kind of community where they are actively going through treatment and can't leave their home hospital or uh, it's hard for the family to travel or they, even with it being free cost. And so we've started, and I believe it started like two, three years ago, uh, doing virtual camp, which is 
uh, working with kids through things like Zoom and virtual reality and stuff. So uh, we had virtual camp all last week, which was things like playing virtual mini golf and fishing and Beat Saber and uh, escape the room kind of things, but all in VR, all with kids who have kind of been locked to their their homes or to their beds or that can't wouldn't normally be able to have an experience like this. Uh, one of the most powerful things, and I have footage of this, I just need to like edit it down, <laughs> um, was one of the kids at the end of the camp saying like, this is the first time I've actually been able to play with other kids in two years. Um, and that was amazing. One of the a really cool thing we were able to do for, um, like I said, a lot of the money that we bring in goes to cancer research, but we also do things with survivorship and stewardship of the families. Um, another thing that's literally going on today uh, that's part of a different partnership we're working on with a group called Wisdom, who is actually a sponsor of 2DCon. <laughs> um, Wisdom is running what's called Gold Rush, which is a huge rocket, basically like a Rocket League all-star game um, with a bunch of professional players. And we're one of the kids that we work with is a huge Rocket League fan. Um, like knew all the pro players, knew that this thing was going on already, was like very excited. Uh, and we were able to get him to play with two of the pros, take some interviews with them, and he's actually going to be at the event as a like spectator, like VIP, got to sign their wall that only professional players and like casters and commentators get to sign, like had the whole VIP treatment. And it was just a really cool experience for him because this was the first time he's worked with the group because he, he's the oldest living survivor of congenital blastoma. Um, he's turning 16 at the end of the year. He's trying to raise $16,000 for his 16th birthday. Uh, but this is the first time that he's actually been able to use his interest in video games to help raise money in that. Everything else has just been, you know, you're like, well, everyone does charity golf tournaments and everyone does like bowling for charity and walkathons. And they, we literally do all of those. They're very good and they raise a lot of money. But he was so excited to do something that was about what he was interested in, too. Um, I know it's a little bit easier to tell stories about kids or uh, families that are going through pediatric cancer or that have gone through it. Um, but it, it's a little bit harder to say, like, this was super impactful or had stories. But we do have a, just the, the amount of people that I know, like Connor, that kid I was talking about, would not be alive today if it wasn't for the money from Children's Cancer Research Fund because he was able to be helped directly because of the research that was done. So like for all of these really cool stories, it really is about actually making that happen. Um, I'm kind of just rambling now. If anybody has questions, I have so many talking points and so many things. This is my job. <laughs> I think that was perfect. Can we personally get a round of applause for all of CCRF's work? Because <laughs> these are all the things you're making happen here. Yeah. So we appreciate you. Uh, those are all my questions. I think you've gave an excellent job of just Is saying, yes, Is go for it. Mm -hmm. So, oh, OK. Well, we'll see what that is. <laughs> Um, two quick things before I give the mic back um, that I, I think, especially if you guys are trying to hit $5,000, which is an amazing goal. Uh, one is that uh, I, I, it used to be less than 4%. It's actually good that I don't get to use that stat anymore because it's a little bit higher, but it's still in the single digits. Uh, less than it's single digit percents of money that goes to cancer research goes to children's cancer research specifically. Uh, and even if you think about like how demographics and stuff shake up, a lot of the things that are discovered through children's cancer research ends up being heavily applicable to you know cancer research and cancer survivorship in general. It's where a lot of different uh, it's like studies and new findings where it came through. Um, the other one is that because of the way we do fundraising, um, a lot of the researchers that we work with are able to use money that was initially brought through our fundraising, uh, and then they're able to then go use that to start their research and then further on apply for larger like government grants. And uh, they're able to use the, like, the money here is to kickstart a lot of that. Uh, and because of the way that money here tends to kickstart things, effectively for every dollar donated, you are donating $18 to charity. 
Uh, and so if we're trying to get to $5,000, that's literally, I'm gonna pretend that that's already at 4,000 because it should be before this run starts. Um, that's effectively an extra $18,000 to charity. So it really, really does a lot because this is the kind of stuff that kickstarts them being able to, like, hey, once the project's going and really running, we can take this and get larger grants for it. But this is how it all starts. This is where it start comes from. Okay, well, the thing you said about, you know, s a single digit percentage of federal funding for cancer research goes toward childhood cancer specifically. I was gonna mention that too, okay, cool. so heck yeah. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's why it's really important that you donate. Yeah. And so not only do you get to help out with this so, so much, such an important cause, your donations, even as, as big or small as you want, any dollar helps, it does so much good. Um, and you get to put it toward one of our bidwares that we have open. There's the Legends Arceus, uh, character name, and the clan choice. And additionally, if we hit 5,000 by the end of this final run, when we hit 5,000 by the end of this final run, yeah, that's right, because y'all are going to make it happen. We, we've done similar things before. I know we can do it. Um, when we hit 5K, before the end of this run, we will be able to fight Arceus. Y'all ever wanted to fight God? <laughs> um, but yeah, we should probably wrap this up so we can get that going um, really quick before we head off. Where can people follow uh, Children's Cancer Research Fund and Creators Against, Ch Creators Against Childhood Cancer, excuse me, on uh, social media? Yeah, so for creators, our big two social medias are Twitter and Discord. Um, t our Twitter is CreatorsACC, so at CreatorsACC. Uh, and then the Children's Cancer Research Fund is at Children's Cancer. Um, Discord is just a big jumble of letters because we don't have enough people to have a, what is it, the glamour URL, whatever it's called yet, uh, but we're working on that. Uh, but you can find that directly linked through our Twitter as well. But yeah, Creators ACC, like I said, we're a brand new program, and so uh, as much as we're doing great work at raising money for charity, uh, we need people to just know we exist to kind of get there. So. Uh, we would absolutely love any engagement <laughs> in that kind of thing. I know everyone says, like, please like and share, and I was going to say subscribe, but that's not relevant here. <laughs> um, but it really makes a huge difference for us when we were within the first six months of launching this. All right. Cool. There we go. All right. We're going to get Legends Arceus started. Let's get to 4K before this run starts. Get him in. Let's go. Woo!